What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add black and white to your videos and animate it. Now I'm not just going to be showing you how to add a black and white colour to your video because that will be really quick and really boring. I'll also be showing you how to keyframe it to make it smoothly blend into your video. So this is my current footage, of course it is an aerial shot of New York City, pretty simple. And what we're going to be doing is heading over to the effects tab. Now from the effects tab we're going to come over to the video effects and from here we're going to come to image control and as you'll see it shows black and white. Now there's a way you can do this where you simply just drag and drop this onto your footage and the video goes black and white. However, uh, me personally when I add effects in Premiere Pro I don't usually add it directly onto a video. I did address this in a video last week when I done a tutorial. I actually right click here under the project, select new item and an adjustment layer. I select OK and I drag and drop this onto video track 2 which is above our footage. Now coming back to the effects tab, this is where I'm going to be dragging and dropping the black and white. You can see because the adjustment layer is on video track 2 and our footage is on video track 1, we will be able to see the effect. Now once we are selected on our adjustment layer and you can see under effects controls we can see this right here. Now we can't directly animate or keyframe the black and white, hence why we have it on an adjustment layer. This lets us change the opacity. So you can see turning it all the way down only affects the adjustment layer. If we had the black and white on the footage itself and we tried keyframing the opacity that would be doing the entire video not just the black and white. Now another thing to point out here you can see there are some shapes, an ellipse mask, a four point polygon and of course the pen tool. So basically what this means if I get the ellipse you can see we can create this kind of effect where this is going to be just getting whatever is in this circle. Now you can see you can drag it off, you can also adjust it to how you want to and you can be pretty creative with this as well. And we can animate this as well. So I'm actually going to delete this mask because I want to restart the way I'm going to do it. So I'm having the ellipse and I want it small like this. Now I'm going to position it just here close to the center. And all I'm going to be doing is coming to where it says mask expansion, toggle the animation and now we've set up a keyframe. I'm then going to come across on my timeline. Now this is completely optional for you. Depending on how long your footage is, my footage is 16 seconds as you can see. You can come across on your timeline and choose how quick or how slow you want it to be completely black and white. Now I'll go with 3 seconds just so it's quick for the tutorial and I'll leave it there. And what we want to do where it says mask expansion is simply expand this out. Now you can see there is an ellipse coming bigger and bigger which is also making our video black and white. Now one thing you'll notice right now I cannot expand it anymore, we're at 1000. And there is still some colour on the video. So a way around this where the mask path is, we're going to toggle the animation, bring this keyframe to the start and then make sure we're on our mask. And we're simply going to bring this side out to cover the edges we have not got in black and white. Just like that everything is now black and white and this is the animation completed. So if I play it through you can see a circle of black and white comes out like that. And even that little change we done to the mask path itself it doesn't affect the video everything still looks really smooth and put together. So once again just like that you can be pretty creative. Now that's just not it, what else we can do is invert it. So if we select invert, the video will start black and white. However, we're going to be doing this a little bit different. The mask expansion is going to start off at minus 1000. So everything is black and white. And we're going to leave the other keyframes how they are. So now if I play this through, you can see the video will go from black and white to colour with a circle animation, which looks really nice and smooth like that. Now what I've just shown you is the exact same way you can do it with a 4 point polygon mask and of course the pen tool which is a free mask so you can make a custom colour, maybe you want to mask out a building or something, you can see just like that we can create a pretty cool effect. Now I'll be showing you the last thing which is the opacity, animating on this is super simple. So first of all I want the opacity to start at 0, if we come across to uh, 3 seconds again or close to 3 seconds 
simply bring up the opacity to 100%. That's the second keyframe created. If I play this from the beginning now, you can see the video is going to fade into black and white just like that. Now you can do the complete opposite as well. You can start off the video in black and white, so have the opacity at 100. Come across to, on your timeline to when you want the video to come completely full color again. I'll keep mine here and change the opacity to zero. Make sure this keyframe is laid out here. If it doesn't lay out a keyframe, make sure the animation is toggled here. Now if I play this through from black and white, it's going to fade into color. Really nice effect and you can be really creative with black and white. People think black and white is just simply adding black and white. You could make it look really good, just use some of the tools and of course do some simple animating. But that's how simple it is to use black and white and animate it in Premiere Pro.